Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Baumgarten here with the next Python image library video for you. If this is really part two of the uh, of a series of a couple of videos uh, where I, in the last video, I showed how to draw lines, rectangles, ellipses, and text over a Python image. So if you didn't watch that video, I suggest going back to watch that first. This one, I am going to use those different techniques in a quick little demo to make my own take on the success kid meme uh, just to remind you what we're talking about here it's this this guy here except this time it's going to feature me in the photo and so I'm going to make uh, this uh, bluey kind of background blue or purple whatever you want to call it uh, and uh, yeah we'll see how we go so this is what I had last time, and you'll remember I was drawing these rectangles and circles and texts all over the, this horrible picture of myself. So let's uh, let's do a save as, <clears throat> so not to get rid of my precious work from last time. And so now I need my camera, I need my photo, and let's keep it printing out the width and the height. And I'm still going to need this draw object, but the rest of that between that and the photo dot show I can get rid of in this copy because uh, I'm going to create something new. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, and so you might need a little bit of paper and pen for this just to have a go at figuring something out. But this is what's in my mind. So if I have my rectangle photo. All right, and there's me in the middle doing the fist move of the image of the uh, success kid uh, with my with the grimace. Uh, I'm not going to worry about trying to make this um, this radiating effect, although you can draw polygons and set your individual x and y coordinates for each corner. I'm going to keep it simple and just kind of use a. Um, Use a couple of rectangles. So what I'm thinking is I might do this kind of a kind of thing, where it, where the border around me is a couple of different shades of that, you know, that purpley blue that's around the success kid, uh, and that it, yeah, that it, oops, and it kind of. In, Encloses me like that gives a nice border edge, uh, and so each of these will be one one shade of that you know that purpley blue violet whatever you want to call it, uh, and then I'll have some kind of text caption running across the bottom. So to, how do I draw these L-shaped rectangles? Well, I kind of gave it away there uh, by using rectangles uh, because I'm going to have. Um, because it, if they're going to be the same colour, then it doesn't matter if they kind of draw over the top of each other. So I can actually just draw that as one rectangle and then draw that as a second rectangle. Same here, this can just be one rectangle running to the edge and this can be another rectangle running to the edge here. Right, and so again, it's just a case of sketching it out and thinking, okay, if my overall thing is 1280 by 720, how much do I want to come in from the edge? And this is going to, you know, you just need to experiment with this a little bit. But uh, I'm going to come in maybe 200. Alright, so that means that this point for these rectangles here, that's going to be 1080. Uh, my halfway point here is 640. And this X value here will be 200 and of course that will be 0 uh, so then here if I come down 200 so my Y will be 0 200 you know, if down here this is 720 come up 200 that's going to be 520 and the halfway point is 360 All right, so those are my coordinates and now I just need to figure out all my individual rectangles so I'm going to need 8 rectangles that I draw on my photo. So draw dot rectangle. 
right. Um, so I'm going to need a set of X and Y coordinates in there. And then I just need my fill color. And um, so I'll, I, I did go and get my two colors ahead of time. So 105, 53, 115, but I just used that Google color picker that I showed you last time. Uh, and I'm going to use color two is going to be 104, 50, 230. All right, so to do, do, all right, so I'm gonna put in some comments to help me keep track of my rectangles. So top left corner, top right corner, uh, and each of these is gonna need two rectangles. Um, bottom, oops, bottom left corner, bottom right corner. So I do suggest putting in comments in your code to help you keep track of what's going on so that then later on if you have to make changes to it you know where to be looking. All right and then I'm going to have my text that I'll draw as well. So I need my rectangle. So this first rectangle is just going to run from, so that's going to be for color one, and that's going to run from that top left corner so zero zero. All right and so if I do uh, this green one here first that's going to run from 0, 0 to this point here, uh, which will be an X value of 640 and a Y value of 200. So 640 by 200. And if I run that, then I should get, there you go, a nice purple rectangle. Um, I wonder if the 200 might be coming down too far because it's vertically is, not as spacious as it is uh, horizontally. I might make the verticals 100. And this is where a little bit of experimentation is gonna be necessary. Okay, so let's do the other one. So again, oops, double brackets here. Zero, zero, through till, I'll keep the, um, the horizontal distance be 200. Okay, so all I'm gonna change is, that can be 100, this one. And, whoops, that can be 620. So I'm just gonna come up for 100 there. That'll give me a little more space on my image. So if I go back to this, uh, so this is going to run to 200 across and to that halfway height of 620 and I want this of the same color so fill is equal to color one All right and that should give me that first corner yes perfect now I'm going to use the same color down here because I'm just I'm, I've only got the two colors so I'll, and I want them to alternate so I'll, I might as well do that bottom L shape down here now with that same color. So my bottom right corner will be rectangle and this is going to run. So the starting X location, uh, if I do from here, will be 640 and 620. So 640, 620 and it will run through to the edge. So 1280 and 720. And that's gonna be fill is equal to color one. And then the other one, draw a dot rectangle. All right, this will be this one here. So come, uh, so the starting location will be 12, X is 12, 1080, and the Y will be 360. And that's gonna finish at the same point. Close the brackets, then the comma, and then the fill equals color one. Perfect. All right, let's do my second set. So draw dot rectangle, my third set, my third L shape, I guess. Um, all right, let's take a look. Let's do the, uh, what did I say here? Top right, so up here. So this one here, uh, X is 640, Y is zero. So 
640, 0, and it runs through till x is uh, 12, 10, 1280, and y is 100. All right, this is where drawing something out ahead of time will save you a lot of grief. All right, this time to draw this vertical one, so uh, x is 1080, y is 0, and then y, uh, x is 1280 and y is 360. All right, and that's going to be oh, color 2. Uh, so for my students, obviously, if I am doing the success kid like this, and there we go, I expect you to you know, come up with something of your own, not just copy what I've done. Um, you can still do the success kit, but you're going to have to do something other than just these rectangles now, aren't you? Um, all right, so the, the last one, x is 0, y is 360, uh, x is 200, y is 720. All right, fill equals color 2. Last rectangle. Uh, so x will be 0, y will be 620 and then that runs through to down here so uh, 640, 720 fill equals color 2 and that should give me my <laughs> My outline shape and now I just need my text okay and you can see here I've downloaded a font ahead of time just uh, check the previous video to remember how to do that all right so this time let's create a font um, so image font dot true type uh, be really boring and say hello world and let's make this white uh, well, let's keep let's stick with variables since that's what I've used up here. So let's just make up a white variable, All right, which is 255, 255, 255, um, and then font. Sorry, uh, 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 hang on. I'm getting myself all a little confused here. I need the variable. I mean that I need to load the font file first. Work sans bold dot ttf, and let's give it a nice big size, uh, 120. So that'll be uh, let's call that font large. Uh, and so I'm going to draw that text. This is what I was getting at ahead of time. Uh, I need some co coordinates, so I'm going to draw it. Let's start from this. Let's come in another, well, let's take a look at the photo. Yeah, if I come in another 200, another 100 from that edge. So if X is 300 and Y, let's do about 500 and see what that does. So 300, 500, you can easily just rearrange these. This is where I want my not witty text. And to set my color and font is equal to font large. Oops. Now, why is that other rectangle? Have I just got multiple books of these open? I do. <laughs> oh dear. How many of these do I have open? All right. Um, Let's see what that does. There we go. <laughs> There's my hello world. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I like the size of that. That works well. And then I'll just put in a second caption with some smaller text underneath. So font uh, mid size image font true type. Oops. Work sans bold. TTF uh, and let's make that 80 and 
and draw text. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's let's make it the same like location, but bring it the Y size down so that it appears inside the rectangle colored box and insert witty caption here. All right, my students, I do hope you, bonus points if you can make me laugh, all right? Come up with a, some kind of proper meme. Show me your creativity, um, especially with, uh, and I really should be saving these photos. So photo.save my meme. Oh, I can even spell. All right, let's run this and see what happens. Let's pull the uh, success kid grimace. <laughs> okay, hello world. So, we, so that my caption really should move down and left a little bit, but that's just adjusting those coordinates. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, have fun coming up with your own meme. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.